All right. What is up, everybody? This is Top State of the Grind, episode number 153. 153. And we have Tomas Alas. You shouldn't even get this. Like, just talk a little bit, and then you should introduce them. Oh, well, yeah, but no, we're good. We're good. We're rolling. We're rolling. Perfect. He's uh, also known as Tactical Tavern. <clears throat> Sir. So, uh, Tomas or Thomas or... Tomas. All right, Tomas. Yeah, so, uh, who <laughs> are you? Yes. My name is Tomas Alas from the Tactical Tavern. I'm currently uh, working on growing the YouTube channel, marketing, media management, uh, for outdoor survival accessories, everyday carry, martial arts. It's been a big part of the channel, and... Uh, Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. Yeah, Leo yeah. Craig, John, thank you guys. Yeah, oh, but who are you? Like, where did you come from? I don't <laughs> understand. Like, <laughs> like, we've been talking about that. this. We've been talking about this. Like, where, where is he from? Like, how did we meet him? Like, you just. Where did we You meet? just showed up. Yeah, I think it was. And at, all of a sudden you were there. And, and we've I been am. trying to figure it out. So who are you? It was at Blade Show West, I think, is Probably. where we first met. Yeah. That's where I sent myself. Yeah. You want the backstory? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah okay. that's what I mean, yes. Who are you? Yeah, yeah. Where are you yeah. from, man? Yeah, who is um, this guy? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm from California, uh, from Napa, California. Uh, I grew up, you know, into scouting, and that was kind of like a big part of my life was, was scouting, and that taught me a lot about giving back, survival, but then it also taught me about survival outside of the woods, right? Like, can you actually grow in real life, right? I mean, because a lot of people, it's like, yeah, you can hold a conversation, but you can't engage other people or have those social skills that are actually going to take you to the next level. And I have to give it to scouting. Scouting is really what, what really set me apart from, you know, being a deviant child, which I could have been. I could have been. I would have been a good one too. But <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, the scouting is really cool because on my way to becoming an Eagle Scout, I learned about the survival. I learned about blade safety. Yeah, which Craig knows all about what you're talking about. Yeah, right? yeah I'm, you're, I'm an Eagle you're Scout. The presence of another. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How I'm, you guys did work no, that? No, uh, nobody's ever done that. How we were clipping that. I just did no, that for you. Know, <laughs> was pretend. Oh. <laughs> was pretend. Is that like a special thing? That Stolen you... honor. Yeah, they they do the uh, they do this thing. And then, uh, so did you guys do that when you, you know guys the, uh, You remember the did, motto? Yeah, do do a good turn daily. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Craig's not living by those anymore. No, not at all. <laughs> no, I gave up a long time ago. Shots Can you get a remote? <laughs> yeah, I don't probably. Get, that, get a what? Yeah. Get your Eagle Scout thing removed. No, not revoked. Not. No. Are you actually an Eagle Scout? Yeah. No, no, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, so um, along the way there, it was like uh, part of the, the process was like personal management and then physical fitness was a part of it. And I, so I got really into martial arts when I was like really young. My mom was like, you're doing this. You need it. And I was like, okay. And it turned into this wonderful thing. Um, I started training Kaji Kenpo, which is a mix of karate, judo, jiu-jitsu, Kenpo, and Chinese kickboxing. I would have been dead. <laughs> yep. I would have been dead. Yeah, yeah. a lot, well, a well, lot well, of times. your skills I had taught you? Yeah, Many so times. for those people that know, and I, there's very few that don't know, um, I'm a trained killer um, by Ed. Shout out to Ed. Ed Calderon, Ed Manifesto. Yeah. I did get almost freaking choked out with the seatbelt, but I mean, it's part of the learning experience, and now nobody can touch me. Don't, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. Please, I'm just please kidding. don't touch me. I'm just kidding. As long as no seatbelts are around, you're safe. Bro. Yeah. You're safe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, Tomas, or, yeah? Yeah, yeah Tomas. Uh, yeah, Tomas. Just, Tomas. Just, um, your Mr. Instagram, Tomas. How, how, does, how does that journey start? Because mm -hmm. now, I think you hit over 10,000 followers on Instagram, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is wild to think about. Like, that many people are, like, looking at you, right? Like, there's yeah. a lot of eyes. I... I didn't think it would happen because it's just my passion that I'm mm -hmm. now turning into something that I can expand to more people. And that's really what I want to do with the channel and what I want to do with people is encourage them, empower them. And we'll, we'll talk about it here in a moment, but it's yeah. come to a really cool, unique mm -hmm. opportunity that's recently come up. But how did I get started? Um, I started a knife sharpening business. Mm -hmm. I started a knife sharpening business, part of the entrepreneurship merit badge. I lost my job when COVID hit and I was like, okay, well, yeah. can't, can't do that. Can't talk to people. And what can I do to still provide a service? So I started sharpening knives. I was uh -huh. like, I knew I had this skill. So I did it. I knew everyone was stuck at home. So they had to sharpen. Uh -huh. And I was like, man, I can, I can do this. So I can still provide for my family. I can still provide a service for the community. Mm -hmm. And I ended up donating to, uh, to Operation with Love from Home. Okay. Which is a, uh, they, they make care packages and they send them to the troops. So even in our first year of business, it was like, I still want to give back. It was about the community. So yeah. I started posting. I, every client that I had, I would send them a video. I'd go, hey, my name's Tomas and this is how sharp your knife is. <laughs> and I'd do like a video and they were like, what? The, what? People like loved it. They're like, 
my knife is sharp. Because I was thinking, I was like, I don't want to get sued. Someone's like, hey, my knife isn't sharp. And they just like dulled it. I was like, no, this is proof. This is proof. You can't take that yeah. away. So mm-hmm. I sent it to him and I posted a couple of those. And then people were like, hey, uh, what, what, what should I get, this knife or this knife? So I sent a quick video and one of the companies heard about it and they go, can you do a video for us? And I go, yeah, come on, man. I had no idea what I was doing. It was terrible. It was yeah. a bad video. But then it, it kind of grew from there. And I okay. was like, man, yeah. like I'm posting this. I'm, I'm, hey, check out this knife. And then people were like, well, don't you have like martial arts skills? Like, can you show me that? And at first I was like, no. I don't want people to know. <laughs> what if I mess up? What if I what do if, it wrong? What if it's yep. not in their honor, right? Yep. And I was like, that, and I, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want people knowing. But I had a really cool thing happen. I was posting about it. I was doing some martial arts stuff because I used to pe- uh, compete, right? In competitions, forums, you know, mm. size, katanas. And I did this like form with these knives, like just for fun. It was like a, a dance kind of thing. And I was kind of having fun with it, but I got a direct message and it was like from this like, you know, this younger guy. And he's like, hey, I'm starting martial arts because I, I saw that video and I thought it was really cool. Mm. And I was like, whoa, do it. I said, yeah. do it. Do it all the way and don't stop. Don't stop. And I was like, man, that to me kind of like changed the trajectory of like where I really want to take this. And I was like, if I can affect someone's life yeah. and have that positive impact, even I want one, that, yeah, Even one person. That, even that, one. Yeah. That ripple effect. You never yeah. know how you're going to touch someone's life. And I think social media gives me that ability to really like reach more people. So I'm honored to, to continue doing that. So. Yeah. So yeah, so it's been, it's kind of turned into like uh, some comedy sketches. I've, I've thrown in like my love for horror, horror movies, Michael Myers, Scream. Doing I've seen that one video that you did with uh, the Doug The one? Micarta. He did like a, a million well, of them. Not all Craig, of them. You're a real Doug, one. Yeah. Doug Micarta. You're welcome. Mark Carta. Mark Carta? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Sorry. He's going to see this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doug. He's getting the seatbelts ready. I'm sorry, Doug. You can't be touched. You don't even see him. You want to see him come? I really want to meet him. <laughs> Doug yeah. Marcaida. Mar- Mar- that's what I said. Yeah. But I have a... Like, Marcaida. Yeah, Marcaida. You got it. I speak it. Spanish, so like it's hard for me to roll my R's. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, this is John. I'm sorry, Doug. Yeah. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Mr. Marcaida. Yeah, Mar- who the who yeah. fuck are you? You don't yeah. know him? Yeah, Mr. Marcaida. <laughs> Not my carta. I didn't say that. It's Mar- oh my god! I can't even say it I'm anymore sorry. because of you. <laughs> it will oh jeez! Yeah. So uh, it was actually really cool because I got the opportunity to go train with him in uh-huh. uh, San Francisco. He was hosting a seminar, and truth be told, I wasn't even the one that was gonna go do it. Mm. It was my mom that texted me, and she goes, "Doug's coming," and I'm like. <laughs> what and I was kind of like oh, I don't know like I don't want to like bother him you know what I mean like yeah, I was like yeah, yeah. that's how, how like I, I was like me? I was like I was so I had that like fear of success kind of a way and I yeah. was like I don't know am I ready to go do this like like all these like self doubts in my head and the my, imposter syndrome setting in mm-hmm. precisely and I yeah. was like who am I to go to a you know go to seminar and I was like you know what send it full send let's go so I did it and I went and I, it was right after Blade Show West where I was uh, at uh, D Rocket Designs booth and he had made, Daryl Caston, he made some Ultim Nunchucks. Mm. <laughs> Bro, they're awesome. <laughs> and I went up to his booth. Or it was, I think it was like, uh, who's it from Blade Show? Uh, Bla- one, guy, one of the guys from Blade HQ, they're like, Bro, he has nunchucks. I know you can do something. And I was like, Maybe. <laughs> so I'm like walking over to Daryl's booth and I look at him and I go, Hello, sir. And there's like a bunch of people around. And I was like, I, saw, I see these nunchucks. Can I snap them? And he looks at me like I'm the craziest person that just walked up to his booth. He's like, what are you talking about, bro? And I go, can I like try them out? And he goes, can I film it? Because he goes, you're probably going to mess up. And I go, sure. Great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I, still, I still want to do it, but <laughs> thank you. And that was me. Yeah. I was like, let's go. So like I, I, I was like I kind of like cleared a little space in the way and I'm like looking around and I just like oh, like I my hands are shaking and those things are kind of slippery I'm not gonna lie so add texture please but anyway <laughs> <laughs> so like I clear this way and people are kind of like what the hell? and like Borka Basenji's in the background and they're just like what the hell? And I do the nunchucks and I finish and I'm like like I had like all this energy and he goes like he like stops going he goes. That was awesome. And I go, post. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's it. I'm done. One take. Done. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was that's like shaking. Awesome. So I post and I added into like this reel on, on Instagram. And so I go to the seminar. It was like a couple of days after. And the seminar kind of starts. And we kind of break off into groups because we're studying the Karambit. We're doing like some Karambit uh-huh. stuff. And Doug comes up to me. He goes, hey, I think I've seen you before. 
<laughs> oh. That's when it got real all of a sudden. I go, yeah. I think I've seen you before, bro. Like, I was like, I'm a big fan. And he goes like, were you doing the nunchucks at Blade Show West? And I was like, that, <laughs> that was, was me. me. <laughs> First try. I was like, bro, you, you liked it or what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this, wait, is this a good thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> and, and he was like, oh, man, that's really cool. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really glad you're here. And, you know, we kind of like went on with the seminar and I was like having a great time. And, and then I was like, you know what? You only get to live once. So it was the second day of the seminar, and I go, excuse me, sir. May we do a video together? And he goes, yeah, that'd be great. And I was like, cool. He goes, um, I'd like to dress up as Michael Myers and attack you. <laughs> what was his reaction? He goes, I love it. <laughs> what? He goes, tell me more. And I go, um, okay, uh, uh, how about we do like uh, the knives and then like I throw the knife, but it's actually, like I want a cram. You toss me a cram or something. We're going back and forth. And he goes, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we can do that. And I go, perfect. I brought the costume. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you like pull it out of your pocket. <laughs> let's do I'm just this. like putting the mask on. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you were perfect. So it was like right at the end of, right at the end of uh, so the, the seminar and everyone is kind of like, you know, still there, you know, kind of hanging around. And we only had a short amount of time. We only rehearsed that video like a minute, 30 seconds max wow. before we did it. We just kind of like had this idea. And the rest was just us kind of going together. And he shared it and it just took off. It was like a, a very popular video, especially considering the niche, like right before Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, yep. you know how it the is. market, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it just, and it was just like the start of like this connection and I'm honored about it. We've been kind of going back and forth doing some karambit stuff and and uh, we've been talking about the idea of doing like a show together called Education, mm. E D G E Education. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we're starting a series together of sharing knowledge to people about blades, training, martial arts, and I'm honored. I can't say wow. that enough. That's a that's a huge. It, 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 the dude's it pretty is. humble. Yes. Like considering everything he's done, all the training he's done, the TV show, this that, like he's pretty humble. He's, the first time we met him. Was at my first blade show or yeah. my first shot show. Yeah, and he he came by the booth with the guy from Funker Tactical, GN. GN, yeah, and uh, and I think GN was pretty new at that time. I don't think he was deep into the training at that time. He was mainly just doing the videography and yes. and trying to do content. And he was like he was like, hey, what are you guys all wearing around your necks? And we all just had those pens. They're the that look like a carpenter's pencil, mm -hmm. but they were their pens, and we we would take them through. TSA and all this stuff and and uh and he was like he was like I'm doing this series on things that wouldn't normally be weapons that could be and he's like he's like Doug would like to talk to you guys about these pens and I was like who Doug <laughs> you know like oh. I was brand new I was brand new and I'm like I'm like he's like yeah he's this guy and I'm like cool but you know let's do it and I'm looking at Leo and Leo's like whatever let's do it and so he comes up he's like all right, all right. he starts he's like messing around and I'm like oh okay this is not uh, yeah. this is like more than I thought it was gonna be and they did this full video and, I, and I'm just sitting there the whole time like I'm totally lost Whoa. but that was really cool yeah and he but he was super humble and he was like thanking us and I'm, we're like no thank you like this was cool we it's it's awesome when people come and say you know what the, this thing that you make makes sense and here's why and it's cool and I want to mess with it and yeah. so even then you know and and I mean, this was fucking like nine years ago, but he was still, he, even then he was humble about it. He was cool. He thanked us. He wasn't like, I'm Doug, I'm coming up to your booth. Like, I'm going to do this. It was like, may I? And, and yeah. everything very polite and, and everything. And it seems like he's still that guy. Like, not a lot of people can do that and, and avoid that fame that, you know, getting to you and, and like, oh, I'm Doug. I'm going to do this because I'm Doug. You know, he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't seem to be that guy, which no. I, which I appreciate. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing to find those people that like, like you said, humble and cares more about the art than anything else about yeah, preserving it. And it's a lot of responsibility, not going to lie, being able to, to step up and, and do that. But I, I take it as a serious responsibility. Yeah. And like you said, it's just being humble mm -hmm. because you, like, you, you know, you never know how you're going to affect someone's life. And I keep saying that because it's so true. It, it trickles down and. He's affected mine more than I can ever know. So I'm I'm hopeful that this, you know, carries on and yeah. I can I can share it and awesome. continue to grow. When so. did you start doing martial arts? Like how young? Five. Five. Oh five. shit. Yeah. And and uh the when you started, it was that 
mix. It wasn't like you started with karate or taekwondo. It was like you started with what? What was it called again? Kaji Kembo. Kaji Kembo. It's, uh, okay. it's like from the Hawaiian Islands. I studied nice. under uh, nice. the Tony Ramos lineage, and it's uh, it's basically like intended for street fighting. It was like a bunch of like Hawaiian oh. people that were like wanting to defend their village, and they were like, "We got to we got to go to power. We got to know, we gotta yeah. know it all. Yeah, we got to know it all." Yeah. And so that that kind of branched out to Escrima. So I also trained with a grandmaster Michael Giron out in Vallejo. Okay. And it's a combative stick and knife fighting as well. So mm. it's like yeah. a. So since you were five, you've been doing this. You said you did it competitively for a while too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still or, or not anymore? Every day is a competition, brother. Well, yeah, but <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> you, it's recorded. Yeah. We yeah. Can go yeah. Before, before you keep going. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it, it sucks that, like, for us, we, we're, we're in Idaho Falls, small town. Mm -hmm. We don't have things like that. You know, oh, like we have Mardi Gras. You know, we have Mardi Gras. Yeah, I wasn't going to even say that. I wasn't you gonna, were too. No, I wasn't he, gonna it was either you or John. Somebody, somebody was going to say it. it. You know, it's, yeah, He's it's actually Mardi trained Gras. high. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm if not. a girl is in front of him, he will I'll beat, beat her ass. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I wasn't going to bring Whoa. that up. Have you, the listen, have you not listened to our podcast? Whoa. Clearly, no. That's a big fat dog. He's going to listen to this. But yeah, like we don't, you know, there's not a lot of not opportunities. There's some. There is some. But, but not yeah, a lot. Not, not, Depends on which know. bar you go to. You know, you no, no. Like I mean, Adam. <laughs> Boyce, you know Adam Boyce. Yeah, he, yeah. He's he's like, no, he does a lot of jujitsu training jiu and stuff there. And there's, uh, there's some. But like for, for my son, I'm saying like for yes. my kid. Yeah. I right. would put him in something like that. You know, but karate, and that's it. There's karate, taekwondo. There's a dude doing taekwondo. Um, he, that's he. He's a good dude. He's a, nice. he's a cop in town also, and, and he's been doing that I think for a long time. Good. Um, some jujitsu, but it's 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 very like more niche than ever in in idaho it's just not a big thing there's not a lot of it and so it's it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to do it and the the options are limited it's like if you go sign up you don't have an option on when you want to go it's like it's this night and that's pretty much it yeah you know you you can't be like well I, I can't do it that night i can do it this night nope you don't have options like that so um yeah so it's it's yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's, it's it's cool. You know, when you have opportunity like that, and you, and you take advantage like like you did. You know, um, is there is there a huge audience for like mixed mar mixed martial art uh, martial arts? Sorry, I can't even speak tonight. Huh? Absolutely, mixed martial art. No, mixed martial what? martial arts. Uh, M Sounds like you got your words. M right. MMA. Right? It's three right. letters. <laughs> right, right. But like for example, the UFC. Three letters. Like, Two of them are the same. Something like that. Is there like what? Because I don't want to categorize everything like jujitsu, karate, again. everything yeah. together, right? For but what? Um, what? Mixed martial, martial arts. <laughs> martial arts mixed, mixed martial arts. Hey, there we Thank go. You. But is there? Why isn't there a big audience for that? Um, like for example, UFC. I get it. It's like, would you MMA? Because all these uh, different styles combined. But but uh, there's people practicing the same thing. Right. That go with MMA. Is that is that the goal for that? Like, let's say you're training. Is your goal to make it to like one of these, um, like that or uh, Bella Bellator? Or what's it called? Some yeah, another like one champion. Yeah, is that like kind of the end goal for something like that? Or it's an option, but I think anytime you incorporate weapons into it, it becomes mm -hmm. a little bit different. Yeah. We actually do competitions okay. of our own, and it used to be really hidden, specifically for the reason that I'm about to talk about. Because when you're involving the stick, it mm -hmm. takes it to a whole nother level. There used to be like the death duels, which are like every there was like hush hush, like but the people would sign contracts, and this was like old school. Mm -hmm. You you battle to the death, like that's your honor, your family's life, like that's it, like it's yeah. it's now nowadays it's like you still have that adrenaline in the cage with you know the the ufc and stuff but i think with the escrima it's challenging to really bring people because it i feel it evokes something like really mm -hmm. primal with people with that stick it's like oh my like you can find those anywhere right so realistically the challenges that we do we use like a padded one now okay. right it kind of like makes it more accessible to you know the families that are like yeah. oh it's a pool noodle or like <laughs> yeah. yeah you get the larpers involved. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah the hema yeah. right exactly like yeah. you, it as, as it's true, you open it to more people. You know, we wear masks, we have protective gear. It makes it a little bit easier to, to digest instead of you just see two people out there in like a sarong, just like going crazy yeah, with the yeah, stick. Yeah. That being said, I would like to make it more household. I think it's a great workout. And I think it's great for self-defense and self-protection, knowing that you have the confidence to pick up anything at any moment. You can turn anything and beat somebody into a tool. With it. And protect your family. <laughs> protect your yeah, family. yeah. But, but, you're, you're, but the physical act is beating somebody with it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I, I get the, I get the part, you know, of self defense. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm a big guy, whatever, and you know, but 
He's not I have an easy to, target. I have to. Hard target. You know, yeah. I, I carry a gun. You know, but for that reason. Mm-hmm. But if I, I think if I knew something like that, like, I'd walk any street and you know. Take over the town. Be, yeah, absolutely. You know, the mayor. Be, well, that's he's going to be the mayor. Yeah, we're we're working working on that. He's going to be the mayor of UConn. We're, we're going to run on the bit. Yeah. What's yeah. 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 UConn only has like 50 people. <laughs> to the top, <laughs> baby. Yeah. 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 Right and he's, yeah. spon- he's the spon- main sponsor for the yeah. only school in UConn, so we're 50% there. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. We're like, you either vote for me or we cut the sponsor. Yeah. of Tops Knives and Politician. Congratulations. So we're going to need everybody's votes and yours as well, campaigning for these. We're going to need your help, yeah. <laughs> we're we're gonna knock on each door, but yeah. that's for a later podcast that we're gonna get to. That's exciting, <laughs> absolutely. I, I want to ask you um, advertisement for yourself because you're branding yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what has taught you that, like, just self taught? Like you said, the first couple of videos were kind of like, is it trial and error? Or I definitely evolve and and I find what works. Mm-hmm. And now I'm kind of tapping into a, a wider audience with the food. Mm-hmm. I've been really into food and cooking because it's accessible, it's digestible for people. It's like, okay, mm, why why, why, do you, why do you have yeah, well done? Yeah, how we roll. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I'll keep him cooking. Good. Um, but good. We, yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay. I got a lot in the oven. But anyway, no, seriously. Oh, wait. <laughs> Stop me here. Um, but I'm trying to diversify. I want to get into more of like the out archery. I want to get yeah. into this because you can take the same principles of martial arts and apply them to anything. Absolutely. You're yeah. going for a job. It's like, ooh, you got to center, focus. You got to get ready. You got to yeah. practice that form. That slow movement of, hey, I'm presenting myself, I'm practicing the word martial, mixed martial arts, right? And then you mm-hmm. can do it when you need to. John needs a lot. <laughs> That's what I did when I got the job. A lot of practice. I practiced like, mixed martial arts. He's hey, doing, he needs way more practice. You're doing yeah, great. You never know. There's, it's only all the way up, you know? Can't, all the way up. Can't get worse. But you need to practice a lot. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> So yeah, definitely trial and error. Just, yeah. just. I think it's really cool being able to connect with more people. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's even brought us together. I mean, being yeah, able absolutely. to do reviews on gear, the El Pionero, the MSG. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been really, really cool being able to connect with different brands and people. And I think the sky's the limit with your creativity. I have a really unique style of editing. It's not that unique, but it's just a way of presenting things with the flash and the, and the spin. And it's, it's kind of yeah. like my signature. And I, and I like sharing that. It's you have different. a confidence that most yeah. people don't. Like when we first met. You show up and and the way you talked to us, it was like we already knew each other. That's why I was like, "Who are you?" Because we we were we've been talking about like, how do we meet him? And we're like, he just showed up, and we were talking like he was talking but, to us like we were. It's not friends. like you just showed up. You just showed up. Like, yeah, you just social out media of nowhere. You're like, yeah. hey, you know, t- you you come to the booth, and I'm like, have we talked to him before? Yeah, like, yeah, where, yeah. The where, where first time we up? met you, you walked away, and he's like, have we? Do we know him? And I'm like, yeah, because no. that happens to me I'm a like, lot. No, people but people come he, up and yeah, yeah. So people come up to me and and they're and I'm like, shit, Greg, I don't remember. And so that's what I thought when I met you. I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's like, when did we meet him? And I'm like, just now. And he's like, really? <laughs> he's like, he's like, he was talking like we've been friends forever. And I was like, I know it was cool, but. I don't think I know him. I wanted to bring this up because yeah. I have the photo. I have the photo on my phone yeah. of when we first met, and I remember because that was the first time I bet on myself. <laughs> it was. I took. Really? I, sent, I took all my savings from the sharpening, and I go. I'm sending myself to Blade Show. Oh shit! That was. The, I literally spent like everything that I had that I knew I could put into it, and I was like, I'm sending myself to the show. And I just. I think I, because I knew that it was either like make or break at that moment. I was like, I have to go all in. And I have to believe in myself who I want to be perceived as. Otherwise, no one will. And so you are 100% right. Because I have the photo. I almost want to pull it up. Do and you're, okay, I'm going to pull it yeah, up. Pull it up while and, you're talking. And, and, and you're in the, because I'm in the photo. I'm wearing this like bright shirt. I'm uh, like, yep, yep. I, it was like a retro rifle. Shout mm-hmm. out retro rifle. Yep. Please sponsor me. Um, and I was, <laughs> <laughs> I think Tops, it was, they're, they're not Tops, listening. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> 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 it was, Every time you do a shout it out. was 20. We can see the reflection here. 2021 or 2022. That's not martial art. It's a different form of art, baby. Let me see, 2021. I'm going to pull it up because it was... uh, Oh, here it is. All right, stand by. Here it is. This is the first... (laughs) You're looking at me like... You barely have your hand on my shoulder. Let me see see that. Okay. Okay. It's loading. It's loading. We're going to, we're going to, you got to send this to John so he can, we can make this the thumbnail picture. I will. I will. (laughs) Leo's like, (laughs) 
Oh, I remember this day. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're right. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And Leo was like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, Leo was like, all right, remember <laughs> What the fuck was that? Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, who the I fuck is know. this guy? I don't, no, I don't no, know. Sure it was no, like those old is. 80s photos where it's like, yeah, crazy. Like, why is he you touching like, our knives? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but you know. I was just trying to keep off, a wide berth, you know. Hit it off not, not, not in a way like it's weird, but like, shit, I felt sort of bad. I'm like, fuck, like I don't we, remember Like we forgot who he was. And like, like he stopped and like he knew. I'm like, man, I, I sort of felt bad. I'm like, I can't like picture where I would. And, and I'm, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. When I see somebody, I'm like, oh, this is where I was. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm like, fuck, Craig, where, where did we meet him? I can't tell you, though. You're a lot more approachable in person. In video, I think there's like, um, well, anybody, too. We see it with you. Like, people will just come by the booth and like see. But once until you talk to like one of us or like you're like, oh, that, that wasn't so bad. Because I, I, even now, me, like, I meet people like, oh, shit, I've seen that guy on the TV. Like, uh, I don't want to go say hi. But then you talk to them, you're like, oh, fuck, like, they're human, too. So you are a lot more approachable in, in person. Yeah. Thank you. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> here's your 20 bucks. No, the thing is, there's, like, there's something to be said is, yeah. for that kind of confidence, yeah. you know? And, and like, we kind of already mentioned it. That everybody gets imposter syndrome. I don't care who you are. Like I don't care how confident you are, I guarantee you. Yeah. After the fact, you're like, man, did I? Am I just like fucking faking this? Do they care? Do they? Do they? Do they actually think that that was cool? Like you know, all of those questions are gonna run through your head. Yeah. But there, there's something to be said to just be like, no, I, I'm good at this. I'm not. May not be the best, but I'm good at this, and I'm gonna go do it. Exactly. Like yeah. that alone makes you makes that alone it puts you above 90 percent of the people that do this kind of stuff because all of them show it when they come and talk to you <laughs> we were talking not about a lot that of guys history, are like huh? that like you're like, like if there's someone that um we see it more when someone want like does content and they want something they'll be like oh and they'll just blabber out their followers and you're kind of like yeah and then they just stop and they don't say <laughs> so do you would you want to do something with me like do you, would you want to do some collaboration or maybe give me some knives or i'll do this and that <laughs> If for this or that, a lot of like a lot of people, they just say, "Hey, man!" Like a lot of people see my stuff, that and they're hoping that you'll be like, "Cool, do you want some knives?" <laughs> He's like, "Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah." It, it's, it's funny because like if if someone comes up to me with like great energy, you know, and they're like, "Oh, I would love to do this," then I can take that same energy and be like, "Craig, this person is trying to do this," and then Craig can be like, "Or Leo, like Leo, we got to do this." Like this is kind of the vibe that this guy. But if someone comes up to you and they're like, even when, like you said, they didn't even know. If they knew you or not, then you bring something up. They're kind of like, oh, crap. Like, maybe, yeah, the vibe that you just give them just yeah. it no, makes it, re night, it night reminds day. me a lot of this this dude that uh, he passed away a couple years ago. His name was John Bartolo. I know. Absolutely. He, it was the same exact thing. He came to our booth at SHOT Show and was like, Craig, hey, man, what's up? How are you doing? How have you been? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know this guy. <laughs> and so, like, we're talking and, and he's like, yeah. And he's and talking to Leo. He walks away and we're looking at each other and he was like, do you know him? And I'm like, yeah, because he said he would I'm be like, like, I'll be right back. And I'm like, I don't he think would always so. Bring, like, these, you know, so he brought Donald Trump Jr. Like to the, at, uh, the, at to an the, NRA show, he brought Donald Trump Jr. to our booth. Yeah. And they, they, I'll be right back. back. Let me go get him. I'm like, who the hell is it? He, he, yeah, he yeah, put he, us in contact stuff. with all sorts of people. Like he, he knew everybody and I guarantee you it was the same thing. He just showed up and was like, John, hey man, how you been? How, how's everything going? And you don't know me. But I'm gonna pretend like I know you, and it was it was that confidence. Like he was good at what he did, and uh, you know, like really cool guy. He, he was good at bringing people together. But he also but we didn't he, know he him. Was, he was like seven deep with this big ass. Oh dude. yeah, yeah. And so he, he would, would roll. Hey. With, he would roll with some. <laughs> What's yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that same kind of confidence. Like I say, he he showed up, and it was it was a very similar conversation after he walked away. Where Leo and I are like, how the. Like, like, do you know him? Who no. Do you know him? Yeah. No. Like, but it, no. It, it you wasn't like remember it meeting it more, that guy. It was more like, shit, like, they talk to me like I know I should know him. You feel bad. And, <laughs> I, and I do. I'm like, fuck. And, and I'll go over like some pictures sometimes or, you know, or, or, or through our social media. Yeah. I'm like. Nothing. You know, one, time, <laughs> one time, one time he came, he came to the shop and I, I, at one, at one point I was kind of like, dude, like the first time that I met you, like you were talking to me like we knew each other. He's like, I know. I'm like, but we didn't know each other. He's like, I know. And I'm like, why do you do that? He's like, you know what's really cool? And like, just fucking change the subject. I wouldn't get back to it. So it was some secret he had that he did not want to yeah. share. But it was, it was a very similar meeting 
between him and the and the way we met you. Same same kind of deal. I appreciate it. I think there's a good thing to note between being like like you said, just very like charismatic, but also being sincere. Yeah. Because yeah. I we're being able to work booths and, and being able to work it behind with like we Savivi, Wicked Edge, who I'm here uh, Chacho Cha with. Top, did he say top? Oh no, you haven't done that. He didn't he didn't know. say tops. <laughs> Hire me. Um so. we, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us in this episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. Damn. <laughs> Um, it's early, but, uh, <laughs> feeling super tired all of a sudden. <laughs> but but sincerely, like being able to like work these booths and have these influencers come up, it's like the most repulsive thing because you can smell it a mile away. Like, hey, how's the show going? Great. Okay, cool. I would like this and this, and I'm like, no. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, all they do is what? tell you their followers, and then that's a and number. Expect three. Expect free number. shit. Yeah, I caught yeah. some guy who photoshopped it. No way, I really? swear. So he comes up, <laughs> he goes, awesome. hey, you know, this is me, so-and-so, and, you know, 150K. And I go, what's the, what's the handle? He goes, I don't know, the Wi-Fi is bad in here. I go, mine's not. And I type it in, bro, 15K. He, like, Photoshopped it to, like, 100, like, and I go, I, I go, I pull up in, I go, hey, just so you know. He's like, uh, well, you know, and I'm like, Mm-mm. see ya. So yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like being, that. being yeah, authentic no. and being genuine and actually wanting to do good and provide a service is something that is is good and it's challenging for me as I kind of like step into this new world of like wanting to market these products and obviously get compensated for it without you know being a dick about it hire me yeah right hire me yeah <laughs> uh, we, we heard you yeah. I can raise all the bar yeah. we understand we under, uh, I understand though I understand but it's like at that point of being like how can I genuinely help this company that I believe in and want to work with and not be perceived as like this dude so it's it's cool and and i definitely want to resonate and be authentic i feel like i'm kind of at an uphill battle because i'm fighting against all those people in the industry that are like give me give me give me Mm -hmm. and then it's just awkward so i want to i want to be genuine and and that's the thing with with bartolo it was the same kind of deal like he would come up and and hang out with us and talk with us and then he'd be like hey what are you guys trying to do right now Mm -hmm. i'd be like you know we're trying to do this and this he's like i know this guy this guy and this guy in that in that area he's like who do you want to talk to Mm -hmm. i'd be like fuck like all of them and he'd be like well let's pick like one or two i'm like okay cool this guy and he'd be like fucking call him yeah while he's at the booth call him and be like hey uh come over to booth this and uh you're gonna talk to this guy here and the guy would be like i i might be able to make it he's like no like come over and talk to him like he had some pool with with a lot of these gun companies and 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 companies we dealt with that was a little mind-blowing his his little mind-blowing his product was who he knew and how he connected people yeah. and but he enjoyed doing that like he would step back afterwards and be like hey it's cool to see you guys and you guys working together and you'd be like yeah but you did that he's like no no you guys did that i just i just said hey th- meet this guy meet this guy mm-hmm. and so it, that's that's what's cool is is yeah there's something in it for him but he was also he also enjoyed what what came of it which, which is yeah. which is really kind of what it's all about which you're seeing like Less and less of that because everybody wants me, 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 me. Exactly. Yeah, everybody knows that. Yep. And so it's, like, it's refreshing yeah. to see a guy that's that's not just after, okay, what's who's giving me the next knife? Who's giving me the next sharpener? Who's giving me the next this or that? You Thank know, you. It's, it's, about, it's, about, it's about the connections you make. The products are, are almost secondary to it, and that's it's refreshing. Thank you. One of my mentors said your, your net worth is determined by your net work, right? Yeah. How how can you connect those people? Who would recommend you, right? Like I've I've gotten people that have called me up and say, "Hey, uh, this guy, this guy said that you came by and you know, he recommended you," and I'm like, Ooh, "Interesting." Shit. I didn't yeah. even know that that would have happened because of yeah. that. So it's like, kind of goes back to just uh, being a good person, yeah. right? And it's like, <laughs> it, you laugh because it's, it's so it's, it's rare. Really, it's and it's so simple too. It is. It's so it is. Easy. It's, it's it's amazing how easy it's not for some people. It's funny mm-hmm. how a lot of people think the same way. Because like Leo for us at the shows, because he makes it relevant to to the right now at Shaw Show, is that he tells us just don't fill people, um, don't, don't fill them, them with shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Be it's honest, true because like I was telling him the first day, the reason like the people that are coming back to like I sold to were the same people that came back last year and the year before, and they're like, hey, how's it going? If I filled filled them with shit the first year that I came, then the second year they would have been at like, some point they're gonna come point, and be like, "Hey, like, you're the guy that told me this. You were wrong." Yeah, and so yeah. I think that like just like something small like that. Just, if you if he says like you don't know, you don't know. Or, when that that happened today with the meeting that we were in, the guy didn't even realize how cool it was what he said, 
like but it, it stuck with me because he was like he was like yeah we like we've been trying to do this i can't talk i can't say exactly what it For is sure. but it's a collaboration that we're doing and he was like this guy recommended you guys to me like five years ago he's like and so for at least four years i've been trying to make this happen and that was it was because of leo and mike and what they've done and it was it was cool we walked away from that and i was like dude that was fucking badass because like, nice. this is not a small company and it's and they're not they're not a small player in the industry and it was like and they're they're like man i'm so excited to be working with you guys like i still can't believe this happened and we're like but you guys are you guys yeah. are you and he's like yeah but it's not really he's like this is like i'm like you you don't realize how big this is for me and i'm like yeah but we're small and he's like but you're not and so it was it was it was really cool and that's, that's incredible. it's it's that exact concept you know, that and going about. going back you know going back a little bit to you know when you feel like they're you know blowing smoke up your ass and, and, and stuff like that you know <clears throat> like when they tell me like shit like the talent you have to design the talent you have to, like uh, okay you know, i don't i don't feel that mm -hmm. You know, to me, to draw a knife, it's nothing. Right. You know, I can I can sit here and talk to you in five minutes, and you have a drawing, wow. <clears throat> and that's what happened with them. Wow. They're talking. We're talking on the phone, and and he's like, "So, when you guys thinking?" <laughs> it wasn't even I'm in like, person. Me, yeah. They were like, we, "We want talking. we want this and this." He's like, "Okay," and I ask a couple questions, and and Leo just sitting there. Okay. Okay. And they're like, "Do you guys have any other questions?" I look at Leo. He's like, "I'm like, oh, I think we're good." And they're like, "They're like, are you sure?" And and I look at Leo again. And he's like, no. Oh my God. And, and then like, same day, he brings me not two that they asked for, but three drawings. And he's like, yeah, because I remember days. they asked, like, you know, wow. when, when can we expect the drawing? Um, I, and I'm I'm always like, I give us a couple them. weeks. Yeah. You're like, you know, yeah, like we're, we're doing yeah. things. And, and and Leo's like, oh, I'm like, give me the, the yeah. Day. Like, like oh, he's like, like drawings. tomorrow you'll get them. That's insane. Yeah. I don't think people know how hard that is. I have them right here. It's well, easy yeah. for him. <laughs> it's just, it's just easy for about. him because he's 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 flexed like that muscle enough. He he did this like for months. All he did was draw. Yeah. When I when I worked with Mike, all know, Mike wanted him to do was yeah. draw. Yeah, he would he would always tell me, "Don't hurt your hands," because you know <laughs> me. I didn't know martial arts, but I love to fight. You go and you look at my record, and it's fighting. No alcohol, police, no police record. Yeah. Just in case yeah. you were <clears> not like it's competition. Like, like, right? Yeah, not yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, 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 oh, shit, you know but it, 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 it was. You oh, know, I, I was getting in trouble, and that's probably what hit it off with Mike. You know, because it was always, you know, um, like I don't know, I, I, Mike loved that about me because like, he he went through times with me that other bosses would have fired your ass in a heartbeat. You know, he was visiting me in jail, you know, and stuff like that. And so, but Mike um, knew that if shit came, if shit went down, Leo was gonna this is throw the guy it want. down. And, and yeah, so, yeah. and so, thank you. There, there was <laughs> yeah, well, it was winning at me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, but there was a point figure that <laughs> that oh. Mike would bring me a design or bring an idea, and I would make it a design, mm -hmm. and he'd he'd be like, "Holy shit, that's like, something." I've been paying I've been paying people to design for me a lot of money. And and you can fucking do it and, and but he wouldn't tell me this. But when when he started telling me like, Don't hurt your hands, I don't give a shit what you do here at Tops, just draw. And I'm like, fuck, that's boring. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I can I can and I told him, I'm like, I give you ten drawings tomorrow. I'm like, but I wanna learn to do more. I don't wanna just do what I'm doing, you know, and then there for a little bit he had me doing everything. Wow. You know, and so <clears throat> but yeah, you know, it, it goes back to that that you know, sometimes you you know people start telling you, oh, you you know, you're good at them. Like, man, like, nah. I think I think every person that I've met that is very successful at something has that. I, I mean, it it comes down to them wanting to do better and wanting to be more and 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 know that they can, and it kind of like and it reflects in this like oh, I don't know if today I can I can do this or that, and then it ends up being more spectacular than what anyone else could ever think. And they're their own worst enemy, right? They're they're preventing them from picking up the pen and drawing, or, or connecting with those new people. And it's like, you know, posting this video of like, oh, I just I don't know how it's gonna resonate. And then pff, it just like people are like, this is incredible. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> how how often do you have that fight in your head before you hit the like post it, mm. where you're like, this isn't good syndrome. enough, or I gotta redo this, or this edit sucked, or like, it's how often does that happen? It's more so right before I hit record. Oh really? It, for okay. me, it's it's before. Like, I, if I share something, I know it's going to be for a purpose. It, either it's going to make someone laugh, it's gonna it's gonna inspire someone, or it's just going to piss them off. You know, 
<laughs> which <laughs> which is good sometimes. Which which sometimes mm-hmm. is intentionally like a divisive thing that will inspire conversation. It's not going to be something that's really like this. It's, you don't you do it maliciously. It's no, not, no, no, You're not it, like a troll on it, it, Twitter. It's going to spark conversation yeah, X, in people's head. And, X, yes. Yeah, get them to think something different. Like, yeah. oh, maybe if I maybe if I do this, maybe if I park this way and, and whatever it is, like it, it'll inspire people to think differently. But for me, it's always right before I hit record. It's <laughs> it's always like. Is this something that I want to show? Is this whatever? And then I'm like, okay, well, and how I get out of my head is I go, well, I can at least just try it, right? Let me just see what it looks like. And then that just shakes everything off. And as soon as it's recording, it's like, <laughs> go down. You know what I mean? Like so many people hit that, oh, I can just try it and stop. Yeah. And don't hit mm-hmm. the record button, so to speak. A lot of people stop there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you how I got out of that, that, that stopping. Uh, and I don't talk about this too much because I like to keep it in my back pocket, but. It's like it's not that hidden now, but, um, but we're a super inspirational podcast, so this, this is the place is, to talk. This is the place it. to do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, as Leo goes on his phone. That's cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ouch! I <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is savage. Oh, now that we've the moment, that's fine. We'll, we'll come back to it. I'll try to put it on my YouTube. <laughs> he's following me oh, now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's just barely here. Follow. Oh, yeah, once they bring that up and I'm not following them, shit. <laughs> Are you following them, Leo? Spamming <laughs> likes now. We're we'll following them on Tom's Lane. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you guys are so freaking That's why fun. I swear to God. I mean, it's like like you said with connecting people. Like this is a this is a perfect example of how we got connected because it's like I was working at Civivi. Jason Fleming from Straight Edge Knives came over and he goes, "Hey man, I'd love to do this." And like, can you film with me? And I go, "Yeah." Like. I don't know you, but yeah, you know, we became fast friends. And he goes, bro, you got to come on this. You got to do this with them. And he's the one that connected yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. For all, he made it all happen. All, all credit like, to him. A couple days ago. Yeah, a couple days, within a couple of days. And I was like, send it. You know yeah, what I mean? Craig, like, Craig brings up, we, we, you know, we do, we do a, the, we did a, a, I could say a weekly meeting to prep for the show. Thank you. And then Craig is like, well, no, not, not even that. But, but he brings, but, but he didn't even, like, usually he'll, hey, hey Leo, do you want to do this? Should we do this? And and then he 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 just tells me like you know we're doing a podcast this day and we're doing a podcast you know I'm like how did you get a hold of him yeah and, and he's and like Fleming I was like Fleming I'm yeah. like holy shit he's like he's Jason, like really Jason and I was like, I was like, with a, a, a so see I didn't say like why the fuck did you do with him no, no it was like how did you get a hold of him like yeah you know? I was I was like Jason said that they're staying at the same hotel and he was like if you want I'll ask him to be on the podcast and I was like yeah and like I shit you not it was like not even 15 minutes later he's like yeah he said he could do it and i was like done yeah yeah, yeah jason Krieger. he called me eight times so i was like <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. so eventually you're well, they they in the same place yeah, 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 in the yeah, same yeah. room <laughs> jason's over, jason's over there like, you want to be <laughs> hey well let's get back to this you were going to give us some really yeah, inspirational yeah, 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 stuff yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe i don't know it all happens for a reason Leo's maybe, right maybe in a minute I don't know. no 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 Nope. Okay, so we, we were we were talking about how we're going to like get over that fear of of, of stopping yourself, right, and being mm-hmm. your own worst enemy. Um, and my parents really drove that into me that any second that you hesitate is is a moment wasted. And also with martial arts, like if you're going to commit to a move, gotta go, do. You gotta do it. You can't have that hesitation. Like even if I see someone around the show, like a chat show, I'm like, hey, hi, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Tomas. Like, hey, I love, love you. Don't even whatever. think about it. I, I, as soon as I see it, even if I don't want, I'm, I'm walking there, right? And so what this came from was when I was 14, I came to Vegas. This is all kind of weird. It's like full circle, and I saw like the Chris Angel show, right? I saw like the Chris Angel magic show. And I was like, oh my gosh, magic is awesome. I was like, I think I want to do this. You were about to be a magician. Bro, yeah. Oh, so fuck. my parents my parents got me a kit for magic. <laughs> and I had it like sitting in my room, right? Still like wrapped in the plastic. Again, that fear of failure yep. to start. Yep. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. But I just had this like feeling of like, I know I want to do magic. And so I like open it up. I'm like looking at the tricks and stuff. And, and uh, my mom's like, all right, practice something. Like, let's go. That weekend, she's like, okay, get in the car. And I'm like, okay, like, where are we going? And she goes, get in. She drives me downtown. And she goes, get the fuck out. <laughs> she said that? <laughs> she said, I, this is a 100% true story. We can call her right now. She'll tell you the exact same thing. I think we should do this. And she goes, she goes. Yeah, I never had a mom on the show. Yeah. Dude, my mom's dope. Well, and, dude, by the sound of things, like, I'm not, again, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Yeah. I think your mom has a lot to do with who you are. All credit Everybody. to her yeah, and my Absolutely. dad. Yeah, my, mom, my parents, one hundred percent. That's 
some kids don't have that, mm-hmm. and some kids 100%, and that's, that's awesome. And I realize that, and I'm forever grateful to them. And she said, get the fuck out of the car and go make money. I had that same, I'm like, what? Oh, like, what? Huh? And, and she would not let me get back in the car until I made $1 performing magic on the street. True story. God, that's a, that's a cool lesson. <clears throat> It was the worst thing ever. Like I yeah, was like of course, sh- no, of course. shaking, Fuck that, but that's a cool. <laughs> but, but then after I came to realize, like, oh, she goes, "If you want to be a magician, you need to commit everything that you have to being that and being the best that you can." And that's exactly what I did. The first two tricks that I did were terrible. I went up to, I was like, "Hey, would you like to see a trick?" <laughs> Big drunk guy. I want that card, and all the cards went on the floor. It was terrible. And I was yeah. like scooping them up. I'm like crying. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I just need a dollar. <laughs> like, my like, mom was like, like crack in the car. Crazy crackhead. I was like, I'm just My mom's not letting me back home. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> it probably so sounds funny. way worse than it is, but that's fucking funny. Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> So I did it. I found this one guy who just felt bad for me at that point. Like, it was just, hey, just get just out pity. of here. Yeah, so he gave me like a $5, but he's like, get out of here. He's like, oh, five days. Yeah. <laughs> she got changed. <laughs> oh, you didn't think that through. Huh? I didn't think that through. No, man. Man. I was 14. So, give him yeah, a break. Yeah, I was Sorry. young, man. And, and so I get back in the car and go, here it is. Please. She goes, great. She takes me home. Next day, same thing. I'm going again. I'm like, are you? I don't want to. I mean, are you serious? That that night, I had like met people, and they go, "Hey, we'd like for you to perform here regularly." And I'm like, "What?" I was new, but they they were drawing people in, and it just over time, like every weekend, I would go and go and go and go for 12 hours. I was performing sometimes on the street, and it taught me to go up and perform and talk to anybody, even if I didn't do magic. It was just that energy that I could change someone's night with. Yeah. Take fast forward a couple of years, my sister, my little sister, she's diagnosed with leukemia, right? She's diagnosed with a really bad illness mm-hmm. and she's in the hospital room and she's having a tough time. So I start showing her some magic, right? It's like the same three tricks that I know. That's it. She knows them by now, obviously, but she keeps burning me on different angles. She goes, nah, saw that. No, nope, got to do that again. And, she, and there was like a game that we would play for her to take her mind off of whatever she was going through. So this one day, this nurse comes in. She goes, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, uh, "Look, they disappeared. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm out." She goes, "Actually, no. Like, we know you're doing magic." I go, "Okay, then why'd you ask?" Right? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Cut to the chase. And she's like, "Actually, could you come with me?" And I'm like, "Oh, you're like getting booted out." Yeah, I was like, really? <laughs> really? She was like, "No. If you don't mind, there's a kid over here that's having a really tough time. Would you be able to bring your magic and show him?" And I go, again, that like, and I go, let's do it. So I start walking with her and I can hear the door that I was like, oh, please don't be that door. Please don't be that door. Ah, He's just like screaming. Fuck. And yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to do this. Right. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe this would be that moment that he needs it the most. So I go in there and sure enough, he's just wailing. He's having a tough time with whatever he's going through. He's you know bald and he's just achy all over and I just pull a coin like out of nowhere and he just like looks he's like huh. and goes back to crying and I'm like come on man, give me a break man <laughs> tough crowd <So> yeah, <laughs> his parents are in the corner and they're like do something good and I'm like ah. so I just start doing like the same three tricks over and over again and the cards and the, and he's like stops crying after a while and I go hey like pick this but do this right and he gets really into it 30 minutes go by, it's the same through tricks. I'm like, okay, I don't have anything more. Like, this is it. And I, and I kind of go, like, thank you for your time. You know, the doctors come in, and I leave. And I go, thank you, thank the family. And I leave, and I'm like, Phew. I did it. I was, like, proud of myself, I did it. And the mom comes out, and she just hysterically starts crying. And I'm like, again? Really? I, you saw the... <laughs> <laughs> God you damn saw the three. Like, I wasn't that bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like holding her and she's crying and she's just like, you have no idea how you just affected our family. That our son has not like stopped crying all week until you came in and did that. And I'm like, 
I'm good, honestly. At that point, like, <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I'm joking. But like, seriously, like to he, feel her reaction to this and just know that I was able to change her son's life in that moment, take that pain away. I was like, magic is a great way to connect with anyone, no matter what they're going through, anything. And so then, from then on, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some magic. Did you steal this from that uh, Robin Williams movie? Robin Williams movie. Yeah. Someone yeah. compared it to that. Uh, uh, what is it? What the fuck is that one called? You just what? <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's that called? He's in the hospital yeah. with like the yeah, red nose yeah, or something. Like the, like that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Someone said that it's like the real life. Yeah, they're talking uh, like that. That's that's like you know that's medicine. This it's also medicine. That's medicine Joker. for people. I can't remember what it's called. Fall out of his fuck. Robe. What is that called? Anybody? True. Yeah. True. God yeah, damn it. Do you, can you do magic one to close it out? We can do some magic. I know you guys got some cards over there. Uh, now yes. we got some with me. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry for joking about that. No, but no, no, like, it's your but, chill, you're but so that true. movie's super inspirational. I mean, the, the dude's acting like a clown in fucking uh, hospitals, and it he's just, just, you know, it's it's magic. It's, it ma is. it's making yeah. people feel better with without pumping them full of drugs. Exactly. And, that and I think the mind is so powerful. And a lot of people don't realize that yeah. their true potential is in themselves. A hundred percent. Because it's like you get it's the same thing. People are like, Oh, that's not true. I don't believe in all that. I go, Okay, well, why do they give someone a placebo to test a drug? Right? Because people think in their mind, if they feel that they're getting better, they will be getting better. Yeah. And if you can inspire someone and you tell someone you are amazing, you will be great, they go, even if it's just a split seed, that can grow into something incredible. Yeah. And I know because it happened to me and I want to inspire other people to do that. So what, what what can we expect for for um, Patch Adams? Patch Adams, boom. Yeah, what I had to joke about it to not cry because that's fucking cool. And that's why yeah. I joke about it too. And I I don't want to like you know make anyone feel super insensitive, but I, because there has been a lot of darkness, I feel like that's why you can be brighter, right? I mean, we've all gone through stuff. Yeah. It's it's like, but how do you react to that situation, and how can you help other people get out of theirs? Yeah, true. What 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 can we expect for Technical Tavern for twenty twenty four? Ooh, great question. Well, I'm here at Chacho right now. I'm super excited. I'm going to come by the Tops booth tomorrow. That's the plan. Eventually. Shoot, man. We said Thursday. We're only two days in. It's yeah. fine. You know, it's it's whatever. By the way. Yeah. Hire me. <laughs> uh, <we'll> get... <laughs> yep. Nailed it. Like, I knew uh, that was coming. Don't cut it, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you treat me. That's how it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Underst understood? Uh, for 2024, what would I like to do? Um, I'm really excited about this new opportunity. Uh, for education with Doug. Uh, I think there's a lot that we can do there. How to deploy your blade, what grips, how to train to be faster, and how, how martial arts affects your life, mm -hmm. right? Like like situational awareness, tons of things I can do. I'm really excited about some escape and evasion stuff that I have coming out, some some really cool oh, opportunities. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, great. This is in a conversation later. No, come on, come handcuffs? On, I, no. I sense handcuffs. No, 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 no. Yes? Oh, I did. Yes, yes. Videos for no, I, did you, you know Kevin Reeves? Um, he was... The, he was a. Uh, on point a, tactical. Okay. So he was he was one of, if not the first guy the main. to develop to take seer training oh. and turn it into like an urban type training that so the escape and evasion was yeah. his I think was his terminology. Right. And like that class that he started. When I first started at Tops, that was like one of the first things they did is they they're like, You need to like learn some shit. And I was like, You need okay, to man cool. up. And and Mike's like, I'm gonna send you to this escape and evasion class. I'm like, uh, you know, I think I'm okay. Like maybe in there, and and they're like, "Do you want to do it?" I'm like, "Mm-hmm." This is how he's gonna Absolutely. quit. Absolutely. <laughs> like yes. That's probably, that's probably what Leo thought. Leo was probably like, yes. "Class of one." <laughs> yeah. Oh, he came back. Send him to Columbia. No, we're like, <laughs> and I, yeah. no, no I, I, and, and I'm like, stop that. That fucker's having too much fun. It's it's uh, it's insane how how people who haven't been exposed to something like that have. There's a lot of things you just have you don't even consider possibility. Um, so yeah. Anyway, escape yeah, invasion, yes, badass, yes. badass. I'm, I'm excited to, to bridge that gap and make people understand that it's more accessible than you realize. Yeah. And it and it makes you think about your environment differently. And I have to give full credit to Ryan uh, Fieldworks. Uh, oh, he, right on. Ryan, he was the guy that really I took his classes, and then he was like, "Hey, come with us and help share that knowledge." And I go, "Yes," because I was reviewing some of the stuff from like Shomer Tech and all these like gadgets, escape. I'm wearing it right now, like the GTFO escape bracelet with a handcuff key. Like you just you have it on you. And so I want to bring more of that to the market. <laughs> You know how John barely wears a belt. <laughs> he only wears a belt because I made him one, and I told him if you don't wear it, I'm going to be offended. That's the only reason. He used to wear a shoestring. He used to wear string. That's, uh, that's gangster. Shoestring. 
That's that's. Oh, that's he was still off the rolls at the shop. Yeah, that's hot. Borrowed it. No, it. did you ever return it? Did I don't you ever think return so. It? That's a big. I fat haven't no returned right it yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For a couple <laughs> years, extended <I> loan. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, sorry. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. So, so, so full credit to Ryan for helping me get into that and like learning those skills. I mean, it came handy at the airport too. Everyone's all funneling through this one door and he talks about the situation. And it's like funny because it's all the shot show people. It's all these like tactical people. I have the video. They're all like, even the people are like, go this way. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to go around the back way right here. And I land in like the Uber pickup area. And they're like, oh, we can go there too. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. so, so making people just think differently about their environment is important. I also recently got into competitive shooting. Nice. Really excited about that. Right That's on. been like insanely fun for me. So I'm really excited to do some more steel shoots. And again, it's like the mind body martial arts connection of like everything goes zen. You know, it's like right before a fight, it's just mind goes blank. Just, take I don't. Out. I don't know that, but I understand what you're saying. I'm getting amped up, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I want to do that, and, and I'm excited to do some more adventures, some more adventure content, outdoor adventures. is is really something I'm passionate about. Uh, more hiking, just, just showing people that there's so much more than just just because you have an eye for because you have a tool, a flashlight doesn't mean you know how to use it. How can, how can you use it? What can you do with it? And everyone always thinks like, oh, martial arts, Kali, Screma, you know, Salah, all this stuff. It's like, oh, it's 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 the key, all right? It's like it's a weapon. It's like no. And Ed said this multiple times, knives are tools, destruction comes later, right? Mm-hmm. What can you build? What can you create with it? It's man's first tool. It's Tops Knives. Like you guys know it's a knife. It's a tool. But yet, yeah. if you so happen to need it, can you use it to defend yourself and preserve what you love? Yeah, absolutely. So that's kind of well, the and, and even then, it's still a tool. You know, it's like a tool to, It's yeah. either fists <clears throat> or stones or sticks or bullets or knives or whatever, but it's still a tool. Exactly. Yeah. Seat belts. Seat belts, Seat belts. yep. <laughs> Do you pass us that deck of cards, uh, Angel, behind you, please? The, the deck, deck of the cards. cards? Do they have to be all there? Uh, it doesn't matter. He don't give what? a shit. I'll it's make, a card I'll trick. Of course, they don't have to all be there. It's probably easier if there's less. Maybe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> did you just blow on him for no. good luck? He did you're like You're like his, you're like his babe. At do, you the need a, do you need help? Like someone, can yeah, you cut yeah, me yeah. in half? Sure. Please. Yeah, please. I can't put you back together, but... Please. Well, if you're going to take something, I'll take the stomach. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back together. <laughs> hey, Seuss is at home, like, leg. <laughs> take, the left leg is mine. <laughs> I yeah. call that one. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's make sure there's no jokers, yeah? No, nope, there's no, no jokers. No, no. That's right. the deck I won $300 with the other night. Did you really? Yeah. So so I know there's not all the cards in here. Okay. They're all there. <laughs> Count them. Right, right. Count them. All right, let's do this. Let's get here. No pressure. No, there's tons. No, no. All right. Before I do anything, all the cards are indeed different, right? You guys can see that. Yeah, we played with this deck of cards. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's be nice. I won let's be nice, right? Okay. <laughs> if, if it's not a real deck, then I have fucking straight up cheated, and oh, you Leo do. will shoot me. All right, I'm going to have Leo. Leo, you pick the card for us. Uh, all right. Here, let's do this instead. Um, for me, I really like the, uh, what is this? Ace of Diamonds. Do me a favor. Hang on to the Ace of Diamonds for me just like this with your thumb on top. Right about there. Perfect. Now, if I asked you what card you're hanging on to, what card would you say this is? I mean, it's probably the Ace of Diamonds Dude, in you're theory, good. but I bet it's not. <laughs> okay. Dude, he's excited more than that. Turn your hand over. Ace of Diamonds, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So you won, right. right? Fair enough. If that's Diamonds, this is what? And I'll show hearts. you the camera. Hearts. Ace of Hearts. If I take Diamonds and I switch it with Hearts, theoretically, what card would this be? That would be the Ace of Diamonds. Right. What in I'm going to do What I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch these as fast as I can. Don't move your thumb because I don't want to hit you. Okay. But whenever you're ready, you say go. Okay, with some enthusiasm. I mean, <laughs> I didn't say go, go yet. On. I did not say go yet. I'm no excited. Way. I didn't <laughs> say go. Hold on. And go. No shit. That's really slow. <laughs> Do you like the way I put it in, though? That was nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what it, it felt good. My favorite. Yeah. It's right here. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. That's the magic, brother. <laughs> anyway. Please um, tell me there's more to this trick. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay, okay. But, but in, can I look at him? In a second. Well, but on. you said the bottom card was what? The bottom card should be the Ace of Hearts. Not Diamonds. Correct. Perfect. Would you be impressed if I could get them to switch? Sure. Turn your hand over. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> you are Those are queens. What the fuck? Those are queens and they're <laughs> black, you, not even red. Where queen? Well, they're in the deck. I haven't gone oh. anywhere near your back right pocket, correct? You did. That's where I just pulled the card out from. Do me a favor and feel in your back right pocket. Tell us what you feel. Um, nothing so far. You don't feel anything in there? Yeah. I know. He doesn't feel anything. I know. But it would have been cool, though, if you... (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he doesn't like, feel holy shit, he's good. <laughs> he doesn't feel anything ever, so don't, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, guys. So where's the cards? Think? Bro, it's eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's impressive. Thank you. That Thank was good. You. That was Appreciate well done. Yeah. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a moment over here. He is. I was like, holy he fuck, is. I just touched my eyes. I the fuck did he? He's like, mm, that's nice. Did <laughs> I just get Holy freak, that was magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holy God. shit! Uh, I got you guys too. No, you didn't. No. No. You didn't. That's anybody. crazy. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a whole new person. In that John's was one of the there. most deliberate thank yous I've ever heard. <laughs> you're gonna walk up to us next time, and John's gonna be holding his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They're not in here. I know. No, I'll put them back in. Okay, John, move. On. Let's move on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's impressive. Thank you. That so was much. good. Thank you. That was good. Awesome. What else can you do? <laughs> oh God! All right, you know what? It's probably time to just call this one. Call this oh one. Oh my God! You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, Thank seriously, for having me out here. Yeah. This has been an honor, and I'm super grateful for this experience. Yeah, when you become famous with Doug, don't. Don't stop talking to us. Yeah, be humble. Like you, so. I won't. I'll remember. Yeah, yeah. I'll remember. Yeah. No, but in all honesty, very cool no. <laughs> conversation. <laughs> thank you. Seriously, one of probably one of the best we've had. This is yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Really, really good. Yeah. So thank you guys. Thank again, you. For the opportunity. This ain't the last one. You know, hopefully we get to. You know, we're going to be at a lot of shows together. And, Absolutely. And hopefully we do. We don't get it a little bit more into. You I, know, you now. Yes. And not really just. You know, a little bit more into him. Mm-hmm. Well, leave him alone. Don't get you started. Like, you started. Okay. You started. Okay. You started. I, I keep bouncing. You, I look out my deck and he goes crazy. So I don't yeah, know. That's what true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I can't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so really much for watching it. and the listeners. Where can they Cheers. find you? Uh, find me on all platforms at Tactical Tavern. Uh, Tomas Alas. T O M A S A L A S. Tactical Tavern. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll okay, see you guys. Okay, everybody. Soon. Peace out. Thanks so much. Mm-hmm.